Hey YouTube, so today we are uh, cutting some stickers, but we're not using uh, green lumber. So I went to, I had to go to Wood Miser up in uh, Red Cross the other day, and I picked up um, another clamp for the mill, and I picked up nine blades that I had sharpened. They'll resharpen your blades up there and reset the teeth on it for eight dollars a piece. Uh, you can send your blades there, have them shipped there, and they'll sharpen them and they'll ship them back to you as well. Uh, but since it's so close, I just I just drop them off. And I was talking to uh, Mr. Whitley, uh, and he he said I was telling him about cutting my own stickers, and he said just make sure you're not using them while they're green while they, you know, fresh cut uh, certain species of wood, it'll leave a black stain where the sticker was at on your slabs. So, I'm uh, taking that to heart, and I, I've been buying stickers anyway, but I've been buying like the uh, one and a half inch by three quarter of an inch, and then using that to, to put in between them, and they're, well, they were like a dollar nineteen for an eight-foot stick, and now they're up to a dollar sixty-nine or dollar seventy. Well, for thirty cents more, I could get some three-quarter of an inch thick, same thickness, uh, but they're I don't know, roughly two and a half, three inches wide. So I bought those, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So. So these are the, this is the, the stickers that I bought, and let's see if my tape measure's on me, nope, I got my tape measure on me. So they're about, let's see, one inch by three inch, eight foot long, which you know if it says one inch, it's not one inch, it's three quarters of an inch. So anyway, we're going to, uh, so I took a bunch of them, and I went ahead and stuck them on the mill. Like that right there. And we're going to cut these in half so we can double our amount of stickers. So now we're back at, uh, you know, about the dollar, dollar a sticker mark. I might just keep buying them. We, we, uh, I'm not, I'm not like a high production place here, so we're not using that many stickers. Uh, we're just cutting slabs. Uh, Christmas came early yesterday. Irwin's Tree Service. He's a tree service uh, here in Union County, North Carolina. He uh, lives up the road from me. He bought me, he bought me, he brought me some red oak. I got some nice pieces. Uh, there's a couple of them. Let's see, there's, I don't know. These aren't, these aren't very long. They're only about five feet. Some of them are four feet. Some of them are shorter than that. There's one over there. It might be four feet long. Uh, but they got, some of them got some nice crotch figure on them. Uh, so that one's got a lot of turn in it. Let's see what we can do with that. You know, and what we do is, if, if I can't use them on the mill, they become that right there. Which we're going to do a video pretty soon on some... Uh, splitting wood because it's cooling down and it's about time to crank up the wood splitter and and uh so that's basically you know that wood we might use this right like there's two two piles here that darker stuff over on the right is from two years ago and then the stack on the left i split last year i try to i try to give everything uh two years of drying uh, this is sort of like the overflow area, so my woodshed is only so big, you know, it's not very deep, so it's only, so basically, uh, this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, that's about four cords of wood total, so a cord of wood is, uh, roughly four foot deep, four foot tall, and eight foot long, um, and then I got these baskets that I, uh, it's just easier to, to move them. I use my little road. 
I got a little road that goes straight up through there and then I, I can go out on the road and go up to the house or I got a little spot between the pasture that I use. Um, so this is overflow. This might just stay there and then once these metal racks, <coughs> excuse me, I got four racks up at the house already, uh, two underneath the barn and two underneath the front porch of the house. And once those get empty, we might throw the that wood that's outside in those racks and and get them uh, get them filled up and underneath something. Let me see if I can set this down without shaking it. Not very good at that. Uh, so today, today is basically just sort of prep work. I'm going to cut these stickers, uh, sort out that wood over there as far as what I want to cut for um, on the mill, get the ends of them painted and sealed, and I'm not using the, what's the name of that stuff, anchor seal, I'm not using anchor seal, I'm just using exterior latex paint. Um, I've had a few people tell me, listen, that's all I've ever used and it's worked out just fine. And it's probably, I don't know, a quarter of the price of Anchor Seal. Anchor Seal's $33 a gallon. And I can go to Lowe's to the see what they got over there. Sometimes they don't have exterior latex, but when they do, I can either get it for like $5 a gallon or I've paid up to $8 a gallon for some kind of paint that had like grittiness for textured floor. Uh, but I just slap it on the ends of the logs. That seems to do well. I can't really prove that because I have nothing that is um, ready to be used. Now we can go over here and I can show you what I've cut so far. And uh, you can see how much has uh, checked on the ends. Now this is the first log. This is my willow oak, and I did not paint the ends of it. Um, still hadn't painted the ends of it. I didn't do that. That was uh, a red oak, and another red oak here. another red oak you can tell it's got some checkering there on it I don't know how deep that goes that's a white oak and the reason I know that is I'm, I'm writing everything down each log wo white oak and the month that I uh, month and year that I cut it just so I can holy cow I'll tell you right now I'm not a black snake I'm not a snake lover at all <laughs> I'm walking along here and there's a black snake right behind me. Uh, yeah, if my wife was here, she'd be grabbing it and playing with it and showing the kids. We're not going to do that. We're going to take a look at you. We're going to say hello and then we're going to leave you alone because we don't like snakes. No, not at all. Not a fan of you. Anyway, uh, here's the here's a black oak. You can see some of the checkering on it and it's uh well i can't tell because there's a sticker right there it doesn't i don't know how deep it goes another black oak here you can tell where it's checkered um and these were all cut within the last couple months uh we got a white oak here uh another white oak right there that is my red oak. That is my very first log right here. So, hence the different thicknesses and just kind of craziness of it. Oh yeah, we're, we're leaving plenty of room for Mr. Black Snake, by the way. Uh, this is a maple right here. And then, uh, down there's a white oak. Another white oak, two white oaks. Ooh, you can see it really checkered bad on that bottom one right there. Another white oak here. Uh, oh, I wrote this one. So this is the, the red oak. 
metal log. So this is the bad boy that uh, had like nine or ten nails in the stupid thing whenever I cut it. That's another white oak. And, uh-oh, I might not have wrote nothing down on this one. We can fix that in here in a minute. Another white oak. Maybe I wrote it on the other end. Nope. Did not. Uh, these two are the some black oaks. I wrote Adam on there because I uh, had a buddy of mine, Adam Moore. He was out here with me on uh, on this one. And then uh, that was the black oak there. And then that one, that one there is a white oak. I'm really looking forward to this one just because it's got a V crotch on it and it's uh, really wide. Let's see, that's hard to tell. That's a, that's, that maxed out, that maxed out the uh, mill there in the middle, especially on the V end. Um, that had no more no more room matter of fact i'm pretty sure i had to trim some with the chainsaw just to get by so anywho let's see i don't think i'm gonna film cutting these stickers uh but i think uh my wife told me when she gets home she uh if she's got time, she'll come out here and help me. We might get a log on here. Might get one of those red oaks on here just so I can cut into that. I still got four fairly large white oaks down here that are about seven foot long, six, seven foot long. And uh, got a pine over here, but I got somebody that might want the pine cut into something. So that's about it. We're just sort of uh, dropping acorns and yeah talking about acorns we have had more acorns drop this year than i ever remember uh well at least in the six years we've been here we haven't had this many acorns drop so i don't know if that means you know some people say that means a cold winter that means uh winter's coming soon i don't know i don't uh i wish i was more observant of that but i'm not uh so that's about it for today. We got a hometown heroes event coming up in two days. Um, I'm going to talk with them, see if I can video a little bit. So if you if you don't know what hometown heroes is, it's a local organization started right here in Union County, North Carolina. It uh, helps children that have cancer. Uh, it helps uh, you know heroes, big kids helping little kids is their slogan. Uh, our daughter is uh, does not have cancer. She actually um, got hooked up with them before it was strictly kids with cancer. So um, we had a we had a whole bunch going on when she was a kid, our little baby. And hometown heroes helped us out, and we we try to do whatever we can for them. Uh, so we host uh, the past two years. We've hosted an event here at the farm uh, for the kids to come out and just uh, you know pet the animals uh, they can do all kinds of stuff out here we we got all kinds of kid friendly things we got pony rides uh, they can ride the horse pet the goats we got a pig a sheep uh, ducks chickens um, we're actually a, a, a certified agritourism farm north carolina agritourism farm uh, we could actually stayed open we got a letter from the state saying that we could uh remain in business during the COVID, but it's not we don't do the farm for you know a sole income or anything like that so we we just we just decided to shut, shut down for the season hopefully it's just this season uh hopefully the uh the <laughs> The people that make all the decisions can decide whether or not we're all going to be safe or not and uh, and go from there. So we'll see. I, uh, yes, that's a little bit, that's about it. We're, we're going to, hopefully I'll get to film some Saturday and I'll be able to share that with you. 
uh, it just gives you an idea of, of what this community uh, does and what we can do. But uh, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. We'll see you next time. Thank you.